Hello there, YouTube. Last week I was talking about going to a movie, and just before I start, maybe I should explain why I'm wearing this. Uh, I've seen many of the uh, users here on the tube uh, wearing hats when they're recording videos. I don't know if they're just having a bad hair day or something like that here, yeah. or they want to. Uh, make a, uh, well, what do you call it, a uh, statement of some sort, but here I am wearing this hat. So last week I went to see the movie Blood Diamond, and it was very exciting uh, for me. Uh, it started off quite in a dramatic tempo with the uh, invasion of this little small village and the killing of many people and mutilations and uh, kidnappings and it really got to you in in some way and uh, it really set the pace for into the entire movie and it, I suppose so basically the movie is about this guy called Solomon who is a fisherman who is, lives in this village that is attacked by these bandits aka guerrilla fighters and uh, his family flees and he gets captured and is forced to labor in the diamond mines in, uh, in Sierra Leone during this uh, civil war. Uh, this is the place where he found, finds the diamond that is the focus. And later he gets to meet this mercenary slash diamond smuggler named uh, Danny Archer, who is played by Leonardo DiCaprio. And he is, uh, he wants this diamond because it's it's worth a lot of money. And uh, uh, in the process of finding the diamond, he also helps uh, Solomon to find uh, his family. And, uh, and it's, it's just, an amazing adventure movie, and it's it's based on on uh, a true conflict in Africa. So it's very realistic. The setting is a true conflict; it's a real conflict, and uh, the violence is is very realistic. I I guess I don't really know how it is in the, in real life, but it it seems like it's very realistic. Perhaps they have. Uh, uh, tune it down a little just because they don't want it to be too gruesome well that's the basic plot of the movie there's also a, um, uh, an American journalist who is takes along on this uh, journey to uh, find uh, Solomon's family and uh, who is really just interested in finding out whether these, uh, the uh, diamond business is still going on in this country. So, um, uh, what I was uh, mentioning before that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio plays the white ex-mercenary slash uh, uh, diamond smuggler, and uh, he's, he does it very good. He plays this uh, uh, Rhodesian uh, man uh, from Zimbabwe, of course, and he is, uh, he doesn't really want to uh, um, identify himself with the with the with the black Zimbabwe. That it is, he identifies himself with the white Rhodesia, uh, the ex-colony Rhodesia. Uh, I don't really, I'm not too sure about the history of the, of the country, but uh, it seems like. He doesn't want to be, you know, put into a, the same category as uh, the black community. Um, the most important uh, character in the movie, I think, Solomon is Solomon. Even though uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's role is uh, more uh, expressed, if uh, one would say, um, Jimon Honsu played him. Uh, his, I recognized him from uh, Gladiator, 
uh, where he played the uh, friend of uh, Russell Crowe's character. And uh, it was just great to the desperation of the of the man who lost his family, uh, who lost his his child to the to the child to the gorilla, you know. Um, it's just really great, and uh, I hope him all the best in the future. I think he will become one of the more prominent figures in the, in the movies in the coming years. Um, uh, Jennifer Connelly plays the American woman. Uh, not so very much in the in the movie and the plots, but uh, she did a good job, I guess. Um, uh, another uh, surprise that I uh, discovered in the movie that was that uh, I don't know the pronunci pronunciation of this name, Arnold Fuslo, uh, a South African man. He played Imhotep in uh, the Mummy movies a couple of, couple of years ago, and uh, now it, it was more than a couple of years. It was like in '99 or 2000, 2001, something like that. Uh, he played a very good role as the uh, general, I think. He was uh, some kind of a mercenary general. And uh, he just did a great job. I think it's that's all I want to say about this movie. I've been going on for way too long now, and I've been cutting and recutting and uh, cutting out stuff that was just shit. And, uh, well... I hope you enjoyed the, my little review of the movie. Uh, I will attach this to the to the to the last one, so you get to see you get to see uh, the response. This is a response video to the uh, movie that I to the video. This is a response to the video that I made last week about me going to the movie. So enjoy that one as well, and I hope I will get some more subscri subscribers and. Uh, do some uh, nice videos in the future. So, thank you very much for uh, hanging around and listening to me. And uh, I will see you all later. Uh, bye.